Hey everyone, happy Friday. Um, so I wanted to go over some of the A5 notebooks that I purchased. Um, I was trying to find a notebook for myself because I wanted to use um, this cover from, this is the Gilio Purple Zipper. Um, so I was just trying to experience, you know, see, see what notebooks were out there and what I really liked and what I didn't. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna put a video together for you guys because um, I think it would definitely help. This is not going to be like long and drawn out. It's literally going to be 15 minutes. I'm going to go really fast. So what I did was I purchased all of these with my own money. And most of them are going to be for sale, except the one that I'm going to be using. So let's go with the first ones. These two are from May Designs. These are A5s. What I did not really care for was that they are very small. So this is something that I was not aware of. I thought they were really the size um, of an A5 like this. And if you put this with it, it's re they're really, really small. Um, so I really didn't care for that. So you have your daily inside. And then this one was lined paper. Um, so these are from May Designs. They are listed as an A5 booklet. The next one is an A5 Stiology. So um, basically, I do love the paper in this. This is really nice. This is great for journaling, everything. I mean, there's so many people out there that use these and they're extremely creative. Um, and they really make really nice spreads. Um, I just didn't want to write the date out, so that's why I was really kind of leaning back on this. Um, but that is the only downside side for me. Um, a lot of people do like to create their own spreads, so that works, and I think the paper quality is great. So again, this is just my own personal preference. Um, there is no right or wrong way. This is the way that it is through the whole book. It's just like that, so up here are the small months. But this is an A5 as well. Let's keep going. So this is the, the Hobonichi Cousin. So with the Cousin, um, so, be, okay, let me back it up. Basically, there is a Hobonichi Day free Hobonichi Cousin, which is this one. And then you have your Hobonichi Weeks, which is this one here that I have my wallet, okay? So... The paper is very thin, but I'm used to it. I've been using it for like a couple of years now and I really like this. I like it, I, I got used to it. I, I, I love filling in my week and so forth. Um, but for the cousin, because I was using the weeks, the, the cousin has the monthly and then it has your, um, it has weekly and I didn't, and it also has daily as well. So you have your weeks right here and then you also have your daily but I just was not into it because the fact that I knew that I had the weeks here and I wasn't going to use it so that's what made me purchase the Hobonichi Day I'm putting them in here so what I did was I purchased the Hobonichi Day which also has the monthly in the beginning of the book um, and I use this for work, I have all of the days that the girls are off on vacation. And then over here, I was using this as my to-do list and things that I needed to do. And I like it, it's very simple. You have your monthly, your daily, I'm used to the paper, um, it's great. Um, oh, where am I gonna, where am I going with this? But because I really love the Mark Edit book, and if you guys have been following me sometime, I have been using the Mark Edit in my B6. I was actually able to find an A5, and I actually got it today from Japan. So I'm like, oh my God. So between the Mark Edit and the Day Free, I'm going to have to make a decision um, and switch them out. So that is, so this is the Hobonichi A5 Day Free. What's the A5 size? You can put it in here. The next one is the Midori line paper. Now, this is not your straight up like white line paper. This is kind of like off white, but still the paper um, quality is good. It's not super thin. It's like regular paper. So this is great for just a notebook so I can just make a list and do some of the things I need to do. Like um, 
tasks that I need to do on the website, some of the orders that are urgent, yarn, stuff like that. So that's going to be my business. Um, and then the Hobonichi day, I'm going to leave in here and change it to the Mark Edit A5. So, oh, let's get to it. This is the Mark Edit. If you are unfamiliar with him, the monthly overview is in the front. I just love the paper. Oh my God. It's like so soft. Like so soft. It's not super thin. It's just soft. I love it. So this is the monthly and then you have your daily. And what I like about this is that it's just marked. It's there. I can just jump right in and write out my list and keep it going. Um, I love this. I love the paper color. Everything. So that's going to be a keeper for me. These two here are from Franklin Covey. Um, these are the daily. So the only downside with these is that there, there is the, there's not a monthly overview in this, which is fine. Some people don't need that and that's okay. But this is literally a daily planner and the, the, you, you have to get a new one every month. So this is like day three. So it literally just goes up to 31. And then it has some note pages in the back. Um, but this is great though. I mean, it, it has everything for you, you know, listed out. You have your hourly information, your tasks. You also have a space over here. So this is great for people who write small and who need a lot of space. If you don't need a monthly, this is really good. The only thing is you just have to purchase one every month. I had to write in it because like I said, I was trying them out for myself because I wasn't sure which one I was going to keep. But these two are going to be for sale as well. Um, the next one is the Moleskin. I found this at Barnes and Nobles. I used to use this a couple of years ago for um, journaling and then I just stopped. With the Moleskin, this is the hard one, but with the Moleskin, you have your monthly in the front, a month on one page. Here's the other one. This is August. And then after that, you have your days. What's nice about this is that your days are marked as well. So this is just a little bit thinner. So if you, if you take a look, you can see the size. The moleskin is a lot small, like a lot thinner. And I really like the size of this and the Hobonichi size and the theology. So this is just a little bit thinner. Um, but you, there's a lot of things that you can use this for like journaling or on the go and it's a book so you could just like write in it and keep going. Um, the next one I, I have is CGD, CGD, I think, uh, from London. This is a really cute cover. Um, it's like a croc cover. And this is specifically just a daily planner. Like this is the way it looks through the whole book. Um, so you have your day, your quote of the day, your list to do, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, shopping expenses, and exercise. So this is like that through the whole book. It's really cute for someone who just, just starting out planning, who needs to keep on track. I tried to give this to my daughter, but she didn't want it. So again, this is gonna be for sale. So these are all of the A5s. This is one last A5. This is the Erin Condra. Did I already show you guys this? This is the one that I leave at my desk at work. So what I like about this, is that I like the hourly because I like the time block. So for me, let me just get to like a Saturday. Oh, I guess any day is fine. Um, I like the time block because I feel like, I don't know, I just highlight it. So let's say from 10 to 11, like I, 10 to 11, I'm gonna work on my website. I'm gonna highlight those and that's specifically for my website. One o'clock, I'm gonna do laundry. So I love to time block with highlighters. It's just my favorite. So anyways, this is an A5 size from Erin Condren, but this does not fit in the A5 um, Apunto cover. But I I brought this home so I can do the video, but I usually, this is left at work. Um, so those are all of the A5s. Again, we have this one here, which is the CGD London. We have the Moleskin. The Franklin Covey, 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 which looks like that. We have May Designs, which is here. This is the Midori line paper. 
the A5 Steology. If I turn the overhead light on in here, it's gonna get super bright and then there's a glare because I just did this video like once before I just did this one and it was just a glare and you couldn't even see. The last one is the Hobonichi Cousin, which has your monthly, then your weekly, and then the daily pages in the back. So what I have decided to go with is the Mark Edit. Out of all these books, <laughs> I decided to go with the Mark Edit. I love the paper. Highly recommend it. I love it. So I'm going to go with the Mark Edit. And then um, I have the Midori in here, which is going to be for my business. This is my business stuff. And then this is going to be um, my to do daily. And I'm really liking this as well. So it kind of like I'm, I'm kind of torn between the two. But I just wanted to show you those were the that's the situation. This is the one that I'm, I'm keeping these three and the rest are going to be for sale. But I wanted to do the video just to show you the different sizes in the A5. And I know there's more planners out there. Of course, I just didn't want to purchase all of them. I wanted to show you kind of like the main ones that were out there and what I was actually doing. I know this is really quick. If you do have any other questions, um, please just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. And I hope you guys all have a great night.